Now, Mike, you work with the Minnesota DNR on some panfish management, and as well, you also have a fisheries degree, so you're very knowledgeable in this delicate balance we have. Yeah, definitely, Troy. You know, in this day and age, we have so many, uh, some of the best technology around for catching fish. So anglers have the best graphs, the best boats, the best fishing tackle, all at their disposal, not to mention social media with instantaneous reports of where fish are being caught. So that being said, we have to be more responsible than ever before as to how many fish we actually take out of the lake. I think the days of going out and saying we had a successful trip because we caught our limit, you know, our should be waning. We should be more focused on not keeping as many fish for the frying pan and throwing more back. So yeah, now more than ever, it's important to practice selective harvest for the health of our fisheries. So let's take a closer look at the care and keeping of the catch. Angling has long been a means to gather food. Fish are highly prized because they're simply good to eat. You name it, smoked, fried, baked, blackened, broiled or grilled, fish are delicious. And recently we've seen regulations for reduced limits and protected slots. For good reason, anglers are now better than ever at finding and catching fish. And the fact is, if we were to harvest all the fish we catch, we could remove them faster than the natural reproduction and stocking program can grow them. Selective harvest is the key to maintaining quality fisheries and enjoying some to eat. Creating tasty table fare begins in the field. Plan ahead if you're going to harvest fish. Modern live wells can keep your catch lively all day on the water. And when it's time to hit the road, bleeding fish out and keeping them cold on ice will provide a premium fillet. It's hard to get good fillets without a sharp knife. Blades are sharp right out of the box, but knives need some TLC. Stones, a steel, or even an electric sharpener can keep your blade cutting clean. And today, we also have the power of lithium ion that lightens the load of fish cleaning for numbers and bigger fish too. Do you plan to eat fish immediately or store them? Salt is magic. A quick soak in a bath of salt and cold water eliminates any fishy taste and keeps the freshness even when freezing fish. To maximize the freezer life of your catch, you must minimize the air on the meat. A vacuum packer does the job. It's perfect for wild game, wild edibles, and vacuum packaged fish are delicious a year after the catch. And then there's the cooking. Cast iron is an heirloom, the guide's choice for a traditional shore lunch fish fry and a must for blackened fish. The turkey fryer is often the crappie cooker for a spring get together. And if you've ever experimented with smoking, pickling or canning, there's a whole new pastime to discover. Fish are fun and delicious gifts from nature. And be mindful of the resource, care for the catch and appreciate the many ways to enjoy fresh waters bounty. You know, to maintain the great fishing we have, states and provinces are implementing special regulations. Yeah, try not even state by state, but lake by lake in some states. Like, for example, here in Minnesota, we have individual lake regulations for panfish. Like, some lakes you can only keep five bluegills and five crappies to maintain a higher quality of big fish in those lakes.